got to zoom in because quite a lot of pigeons over on that OSR. Just about to fill the sprayer before I go off uh, pre-emerge spraying the beans that we've been drilling. Anyway, I just thought to show you the OSR. It's really knocking on now. You can see the height. If you put my boot there, it's like getting to over three foot tall now. This is a dwarf variety, so it won't get that much taller, but there's plenty of, of branches. If you look at this one here, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 or 11 branches so that will bush out and completely fill this ground hopefully so in a few weeks you will not see the soil and by harvest it should just be one big thatch of osr struggling with this yesterday and i know it come with a spout but it don't normally have thread on the spout but this one does so that will screw on and then that pipe will then screw to that normally that spout has no thread on one end this is i think one of the first i've ever seen with it so I'll put that on there, then add that to it. There we go. Better. Hopefully I'll be able to clip it on now. Just washing out now, is it? Uh, just running in front of us. Almost going for a ride. <laughs> Can't zoom right in. Just out now, spraying the pre-emergent spray on the beans. You can really see the spray pattern in the forwards and facing nozzles, so that we get no shadowing. Just swap fields now. This one is one that was, the headlands were sumo to just to try and level them out and get rid of some of the water from when it had potatoes the year before the wheat that was on it last. Um, this obviously was just direct drilled straight in. It is quite sandy, this field. So we'll see how we get on. But it'd be interesting to see the difference between the middle of the field and the headlands on the yield mapping of the combine because this is just stitched straight in whereas the headlands have obviously like you say been worked does anyone know what that means because every so often it comes up with a little exclamation mark and starts bleeping and then when you go diagnostics it, oh it's actually telling me something now I've got a random job now. Really bin, gonna clean it out. Gonna go and pick some fish up from around the corner. Put them in the pond. Uh, some of them are quite big. Quite quite a few big ones in there. Yeah, we've just sold our farm up in Leveling Road. Let's so have a look at that one. one. I'm um, I'm without they're all my fish that I've got to give away because they're not. Oh them. I see they're not. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to put this bit further down so they're already in the water? This time. That's it now. I'll get out your way. Let's see what happens. Let me go in with them. Yeah. Just drop that. Oh, yeah, you can lower it off the lid, can't you? Well, that's fine. It's going to be a waterfall of fish. <laughs> well, there they are. Yeah. That's one of the last time I'll ever see them. <laughs> They'll be over there now. Oh, yeah, that's one come out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, just. Yeah, you can see them. So if you get some pond sticks and put them in this area, they'll come and feed. Yeah. Do you want to hold yeah. one? Tip it gently. Go on. Yeah. Go on, try and catch one. See if you're as fast as a cat. The slippery, don't don't get don't touch them, don't yeah. grab them too hard. Go on, go. Oh, grab them then. Go on, try and grab them. <laughs> no. You know, just hold else. it in your hands, don't grab it, you might in the damage the scale. Like just cup it like a bowl. I don't want to grab it. No, I'm just not grabbing it. it. Oh, right. <laughs> well just tip them, them out then gently then. Push it, that's it, push it, that's it, slowly. Go on, go on, it's going, I can see it. Go on. Go on, just let it fall in and then they'll swim out. Go on, let's drop now. Go on, let it drop. Look, look. It's wagging its tail. There you go, there you go. See, size of that one. Look at that one. That's more that size. Mr. Burrows? Better than a gator. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Is it quieter, do you think? Yeah. Same engine, I think, I assume, but it's got much quicker pickup. I drove a petrol one the other week and it was so noisy. It sounded like a crosser. Not not one of these, or a, I think it was a Honda one. 
You know you want one, instead of a rogator. Right, the girls are going to do the birthday bumper, so off you go. Um, Lindsay Oh, Donovan. Oh, Donovan. Donovan. Sam Anderson. He's Matthew nine. He's nine. Carrie Reed is 14. And Matthew, Matthew Carrie. is four. Carrie is four. There we go. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, and anyone else whose birthday is today, look at that now. 30,826 for the air ambulance, amazing. So Jamie and Fambo are on the way to Hannah Jackson's to pick up a new dog, so they've just called in on the way. Just in time to see the new fish go in the pond and have a play in the corvus. Quick rinse out now, and I am back onto liquid fur, so I've not done it for a while. I did want to spray the booms of oil, but I don't want to get too late tonight, so I'm just going to do one field and um, I'll spray them all with oil tomorrow. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. Plus N17 isn't that corrosive compared to the N30 that we normally put on later on in the season. So I'm just gonna fill up now, and get out with that. Turn into a cracking day. Apparently though, it feels like it's been wet. We've been really lucky because lots of people have had about two inches of rain in the last 24 hours, 30, 48 hours. You know, we've not, so giving it good now to Wednesday because we're gonna get on with some more spraying. Hopefully we'll get some more drilling done tomorrow. We might break the back of that by the time the weather breaks again on Wednesday. Fingers crossed. Oh, don't forget as well, the Real Country Files out. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link below as well. It's filling up. I'll just show you the nozzles. So we've got forwards ones and backwards ones, facing backwards. But today, on the liquid fur, we're going to use these yellow ones. So these are going to come out in four streams. So we've got one there, where that black pipe is. One here, one there, and one there. So that will come out, out of this jet. That, another four will come out of that jet there. So that's for liquid fur. Well, the, the fan wozzles, so these ones here, that are forwards and backwards facing. I'll show you what I mean. How we avoid shadowing by and forwards and backwards. Forget this piece of soil here. I'll put it down and show you. So if you came along with the sprayer and just sprayed over the top, just get the top of it, and you get these bits underneath here, it wouldn't get spray. So you could get weeds popping up around the clod. If the nozzle faces forwards, it goes underneath it and over the top, but then you've missed here. So if the other nozzle faces backwards, that then fires underneath. So by forwards and backwards facing nozzles, you can spray underneath clods in two directions, and also they're coming out at a diagonal as well to get under the corners. Just spraying this field of OSR now. It looks mega from this direction, but looks rubbish looking up the hill from the other end by the road. Anyway, just putting a bit of liquid fur on it now. It looks to be nozzle a bit funny there. I might have to see what's going on. Because it's a bit behind, especially in this wet patch, the pigeons have decided to move in on it, which is really, really annoying. Because they basically just knock it back even further as well. Hopefully the liquid fur will taste a bit bitter and it might keep them off it for a day or two. Lots of people saw this yesterday on Twitter. Anyway, I'd just be interested to see what people's thoughts are with the NFU at the moment and going forwards. What do you think they're doing well? What do you think they're not doing well? Let me know in the comments. That's probably about it for today. It's getting late on in the day. I'm gonna end the video now, which you've just watched, and I'll see you all tomorrow, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't get any rain in the morning, and we can carry on, get some field work done. Um, get the rest of them beans in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, go and check out the Real Country File. If you've made it this far as well, click like, that'd be great. And I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, sorry, one last thing. I must just say thank you to everyone that is watching because this sprayer is being paid for by YouTube. So people watching this channel, YouTube then pay me and I've spent it on monthly payments on this sprayer. Having such a big tank means that I can do this field on a Sunday afternoon in one tank full without going backwards and forwards down the road. So just this one field, I would have saved around half an hour on, which is amazing because that's enough time to edit a video and upload it or actually eat me tea with Charlotte. So thank you so much for everyone that's watching and supporting the channel. Um, this is the sprayer that YouTube are paying for.